like at the end of the day, you obviously don't want your brother like dicking your friends down and then just dipping. <laughs> like you don't want that. Like you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want yeah, it no, to, because yeah, then that creates yeah. an awkward yeah, tension yeah, yeah, that's anytime weird. they all yeah, link up. Yeah, like you don't, yeah. you don't want a quick like pump and dump. You yeah, don't want that. Nah. So- Hey everyone. Yo. Welcome back. What's going on? What's going on everyone? <laughs> um, I've just had a bit of a spillage as the intro was going on. A little bit chaotic, um, but it's all right. We're, we're back. We're here though. We're alive. We're alive. All is um, good in the world. That could have been horrible. That could have been yeah. very, I've, if like an extra like few, few degrees more of, yeah. of spillage and yeah. it could have been a bit ish. Yeah. I can't lie. But um, yeah. That's good. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We're on. We're good. Oh, this is a bit loose. Is that going to fall up? Hey, what's going on no, here, mate? There we are. We're sweet. Sorry, guys. We're struggling. Um, yeah. <laughs> life's good, though. Life's good. Yeah, life is good. Um, yeah, here we are. Um, hitting different podcasts. Hitting different podcasts. We're back. A, we're bit, back. a bit scattered, but yeah, yeah honestly, we're here. It was a bit of a scattered start, but but we're here. Yeah, bro. My my, I'm scattered. I uh, know I've been all right. My last week has been fine. Mm. I've been good. I've uh, I was telling uh, telling you earlier yeah. that um I've been really giving myself time to like get back into a routine of things because I've kind of get yourself back to into like life, you know? Yeah, of course, like, of normal, course. normal shit. I mean, after yeah, the last after the Christmas period, the holiday period, it's, yeah. it's one of those like periods where you find yourself on days just like doing either nothing or doing everything. Yeah, doing a, there's most. a lot of there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of mix and match. So yeah. so getting back into January, mm. starting the starting the year off nice, calm. Just, just, I've just, actually enjoyed it so just, much. I can't lie. Yeah. I love just, yeah. just relax. Chill. Just chill. Oof, zen. I actually like thought about it. I'm like, damn, am I more introverted or more extroverted? Because I love my friends. I love doing things. Yeah. But I think I'm naturally introverted. I, th- I think I love doing like imagine, okay, let's uh scenario like you have an option with your, like, can you, cause you can still be introverted with friends, right? Like yeah. you can, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think mm-hmm. I'm like, I love going out and doing my things, but like if I have predominantly one or the other, mm. I think I'd prefer more to, to just stay in things, you know? I get that. I think, I think, yeah, I think I find myself most comfortable just, yeah. just locked in a room playing, playing a few games, you know, like mm. that's what I've actually been doing this week. I've been playing, playing. I, I, I re-downloaded Minecraft. Shout out to all my nice. Minecraft f- fans out there. Yeah, it's, it's a it's a great game. Don't talk shit. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I re-downloaded Minecraft. Yeah, just, you're saying just started a world. They up. got some new. Yeah, um, yeah, they got a, they got a new update. One point one eight is the new update. Yeah, it's like they've like expanded the whole world kind of thing. Like it now goes like way deeper. The caves are lit. It's it, it, this is a this is a fun conversation. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, no, like I started on that probably a day or two ago. Mm. And uh, yeah, I've just been at home I, I, vibing with Minecraft it. Minecraft is one of those games that never gets old. Like you, you can get sick of the game, but there's always like a period of time in your life where you come back to it. Because it's relaxing. Yeah, it's it like is. it's like one of those like satisfying moment type things when, yeah. you, when you just build a house mm. and then yeah, you chop down some trees. But you hit like a- You go fishing and shit. Like it's, it's just, it's chill. You I hit a point lie. though where like you do a lot of things and you're stuck with yeah, like- Yeah, you do everything. Like, but then, then you end your Minecraft and you time come back, and you come back in Minecraft. Come back the next day, next update. It's it's a good time, I can't lie. Um. Yeah, it is good. So, oh. what what's been happening in your week, mate? Nothing much. I just have fucked up legs right now. Fucked I up um, legs. Yeah. Oh no. Dehydrated. As well. I don't know. Like I'm it fucked. Just, you struggle on that. As part of my like routine to get back into life, mm. I've been mm. going to the gym more. It was mm. part of my New Year's resolutions. Like not resolute. I don't want to say that. It's part of my goal was just yeah. getting back into a routine. Mm. Mm. And um, yeah. So I got back into it this week. Meant to do it last week. Got COVID, so didn't. But Sage. my legs are. They're, they're, cooked, burning. they're burning, burning, they're burning so burning. bad. Like oh, my no. calves are in, in a in in another a level of they're in a state. Because I told you earlier, like it'd been eight months or so since I'd trained calves because I had a whole bunch of shin splint injuries and whatnot. Yeah. And um, it's the first time I've actually trained them properly without having like, like issues. injury issues. Yeah, issues. So yeah. it's just a normal issue. So this is like an awakening to them. Like, this is just, hey, yo, this is what it's like to yeah, lift weight lift again. Lift and move yeah, it's, it's, and be dragged, functional. It's so dragged, it's dragged. It is mish, it is mish. Um, oh. Before we get any further though, yep. do the usual plugs. The usual plugs. Yeah, so... um. Like guys, like the content on YouTube. If you're watching it, subscribe, hit the bell notification as well. Yep. Ding, 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 all that type um, of fun stuff. Spotify, give us a five star rating. Apple, give us a five star rating, please. If you are a listener, please um, and of thank the, you of the potty, would be appreciated. And um, follow the socials at Hit and Different Pod on Instagram and TikTok. Even leave a review if you've got the time. Yeah, leave if, a review. If you're not Good doing anything. Yeah. Just, just chuck it down. Cheeky there. review. It takes five yeah. seconds. You five quickly seconds. just think of something like love the potty. It's love just like you sending guys. a text. Yeah. Just boom. Bang. How hard is that? Yeah. Come on. Come on, guys. Get come it together. On. Um. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, I had a, I've had a, um, a a good relaxed routine esque week. Yeah. Our friends have been gone as well for 
a yeah. Melbourne trip for the last uh, five, six days now, I, I think it's been. I think that's kind of what adds on to the relaxing side of it, mm. not having everyone here. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So there's no need to be going out every, every day because yeah, yeah. there's not someone else doing something different on every mm. day. Like mm. you can just, we'll do you, Ooh, do you yeah, for the yeah. week. But yeah, Melbourne, mate. Yeah. They're having a fun time. Yeah, they are. I can't they? lie. I can't lie. They're having a they're having a they're having a ball or something, <laughs> yeah. something like that. A bit of a uh, no, I don't know. I was trying to think of a Yeah, fun. trying to think of a fun. Yeah, but um I don't know if you guys have heard or not. I didn't hear about it until Luke told me. I think you have mm. to be on Twitter to know the the go with it. Yeah, because it's more of like a trending, trending type thing. Trending weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So they've had a what's it called the meat spill. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag meat spill <laughs> was, was meat trending. Spill. I yeah. got on Twitter like two days ago and I opened up my phone. And I was just, I just scroll through the like explore or whatever yeah, it is, yeah. like just looking through whatever's going on. And yeah, and I see this hashtag meat spill. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, yeah. What's, what, what could meat spill possibly <laughs> be? Like, they're so, it's so like ambiguous yeah, in the sense yeah, that it yeah. could be anything. anything you have no anything. fucking idea, yeah. especially on Twitter, because yeah, Twitter yeah. is anything. Yeah. So open it up, whatever. And this truck with this truck carrying animal entrails and just guts and yeah, shit. Yeah. I, I don't know if it like, tipped or if it just got in an accident or something yeah. but it basically spilled like shit <laughs> all over the highway or in all Melbourne. over I this think it was massive yeah yeah all over this massive intersection as well and there's just guts <laughs> everywhere and it looks like dog shit it's fucked it's yeah. fucking hot it it's disgusting dragged. if you're watching the youtube channel i've chucked in a little um thing you say or something but yeah. it is filthy it actually looks it's dragged jack. i can't lie nah it's fucked up i like i have memes we can we can look at the memes oh. from it have been so funny like <laughs> there's one here with like lady gaga yeah. sat next to the fucking meat spill and just like, oh, so who, <laughs> who did it first kind of thing <laughs> and it's like it's just disgusting like it's fuck and what was the other one you um you said to me yesterday like oh. what if we were to kiss or something on the meat oh spill? yeah yeah what if we kiss at the meat spill like yeah. why why it's just bro? it's just people on anything i can't but lie yeah it is so grim this thing it's literally like Luke, There's Luke. like a truck full of guts. Yeah. Like yeah. a, like a, like a, someone, someone had some really bad Mexican and dropped their guts on that, <laughs> on that roadway. Like it it's is dragged. filthy. And there must be like vegetarians punching the air right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's they've it? just looked at the, all What are they called? Peter or something? P P E T A. What's that? I think it's a, I think it's a pet something. A, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm mean? waffling. I can't lie. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's like a, I'm just waffling, honestly. Oh, here it is. Yeah. What if we kissed at the meat? Yeah. Store? What if we kissed at the meat? That's store? filthy. <laughs> that like, uh, imagine like driving and you just seen like, imagine like, cause it looks filthy in photo. It. Oh yeah. Like, that's, that's disgusting. Or like, oh yeah. It being, cause there's, there's tie marks through it. Yeah, so someone's, have driven, someone's through driven through it. Oh, Imagine getting filthy. home and getting out of your car and inside like the little divots in your wheel is yeah, just meat. chunks of meat yeah. that you gotta like pick out that's with like a- uh, That stench with a, after a week as well if you wouldn't clean that uh, would be horrible. Uh, uh, oh, that would be something else. It would be filthy. But like, how does something even happen like this? Like like you said, is it a car crash or a tip, whatever? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it has. You know what it looks like? You know when like there's okay, imagine there's a water in a container. You know when stuff starts to rock it? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. Water, it gets it's wavy. It's it, get, moves. it gets wavy. This stuff looks like mushy to that state where like maybe it was something like that where it literally spilled over the tray of the front of the- So do you reckon maybe he's like slammed his brakes really yeah, hard? Yeah, and the meat had gonna, oh, meat come over the top the of top him. windshield. Ugh, that's, that's filthy. Fuck. That, bro, imagine if you were him and you like closed your eyes or you're breaking or something and then boom, there's just blood, blood and shit all over. You think yeah. he actually just ran straight through <laughs> like a, a young family of four or something. <laughs> yeah, like you just, you just dragged it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't lie. Damn. God damn. And they're reloading it back into the truck. Like, look at the back of the look at the nah, back of that tree. Nah, no they're way. like, hey, yo, nah, hey, yo, we're going to feed this to the pigs. Let's just shovel it up, send it home. I actually saw something as well. I think it was another meme. It had to be, but it was mm, like mm, when mm. people were like, I saw it was like a fake news article, like people were shoveling meat off the floor for dinner <laughs> and shit. And I was like, nah, Bro, that's fucked. COVID's really hit people differently. Yeah, you know? they're they're gonna, they're they gonna can't get, get meat from their local supermarket. Uh, oh, they're so butchers. They, yeah. So they're like, hey, yo, M80 meat. M80 meat, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Disgusting. Bro, you thought Wagyu was good. <laughs> yeah, you got M80 meat, M80 bro. You don't know. You don't know. Run over as well. It's graded. Yeah. It's graded <laughs> different, bro. The marble in that shit, the fat, yeah, it's yeah, just, it's yeah. too nice. It's too nice. It's filthy. Oh, um, far out, mate. Yeah, that's been like the pinnacle of Australia news in the last of yeah. news, I guess. Yeah. Like we've had Djokovic being yeah, the whole The whole Djokovic-ish but is, is funny. Other than that, it's good, honestly, because we've had some shit start to the years. We've had some yeah, like- Yeah, the last few years have been ish. Bushfires two years Bushfires ago. Bushfires last year, COVID yeah, Kobe, the year before and that. And Kobe dying oh, last yeah, Kobe. year. was at the start of the year. Pretty much got Kobe, honestly. There was, a, there was a couple of shit things happening at the start of years, but to have our first- Thing like, be a meat spill. Yeah, that's it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good a start. Spill. I can't yeah, lie. Yeah. Well, I was actually talking to, I was talking to my mom about it the other day. Yeah. 
And she was saying that often, at least she feels anyways, the start of the year is kind of like a precursor for what the year has to come. Entail, yeah. So like, so yeah, when we started the year with COVID the first, on 2020, mm. it was like, oh fuck, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And then bushfires, it's like, oh fuck, here we go. Yeah. And now meat spill. Yeah. I'm okay with this. We can, yeah. we can fuck with meat spill. What, what's the worst? Like, I don't even know. Yeah, I don't know. But like, like, unless there was some weird ass disease in those meats. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fine. That's a ish. That's yeah, a ish. That's a ish. Yeah, I can't yeah. lie. But like, like COVID two I don't think there were bats in that nah, meat. Yeah, so yeah. we should be all right. We yeah. should be all right. Should be fine. Should be fine. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, hopefully. On the topic of blood and guts, though. Oh, oh. We have um two famous people. I don't want to call them superstars, mega stars, whatever. Two, yeah, celebrities, I guess. Um, who have recently become engaged they popped the question yeah and the correlation yeah. with that is um apparently they drink each other's blood as well so we're yeah. talking about well it was like during the so so if, uh, if we haven't been obvious enough mgk yeah. yep. and megan fox yep um uh, proposed um did engaged. all that type of sh- yeah yep. got engaged uh, she said yes all that type of stuff but then apparently during the engagement ceremony or whatever the fuck it was i, yeah. don't, I don't know the full full basis behind it um they sh- drink each other's blood. Well, yeah. So the reason this like conversation started is because she posted on Instagram mm. like a full memoir. And I have it, I have it here. So I'll, I'll chuck it into tiny bits. Okay, yeah. So it starts off like this. Mm. So in July of 2020, we sat down under this banyan tree. We asked for magic. We were oblivious to the pain we should face together in such a short, frene- was that frenetic period of time. Mm. Da, 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 da. So, and the karma. Mm. And just in every lifetime before this one and as in every lifetime that will follow it, I said yes. And then we drank each other's blood. That's how it ended. That's so, so anything. So that's how this conversation started. But like, there's no facts in regards to whether they actually did. Yeah, or no one's got a video. Or yeah, photos yeah, and of they haven't like properly confirmed it. It was literally she's chucked in some weird subliminal bullshit at the end of that. And people maybe, were like, maybe all celebrities belong to the Illuminati. Well, so that's maybe what I was, was going to talk true. about. Maybe it's all true. Briefly, like, yeah, that you've heard some fucked up stories mm. with like celebrities in certain, Just whether it's Illuminati doing, or weird yeah, Doing weird things. satanic yeah, shit yeah. and all that type of stuff. Like, maybe Do you reckon there's any correlation to that? Or they're just fucking weirdos? Well... I know MGK is just weird. Yeah. Like yeah. man's man just does things mm. for the sake of doing things. Yeah. And like good on him. Fair enough. Like mm. live your life. Do you. And I think Megan Fox is just extremely turned on by it. Yeah. Like I don't know. I think she just finds it super fucking freaky. Yeah, she's like, yeah. yes, I love this dude for yeah. it. So like, I don't know who would have suggested it, but they, maybe they read it. Is that unhealthy? I feel like you, not, un, maybe not unhealthy is the right well, word, but like, I feel like it's not right to drink someone else's blood. I know as a kid, I used to like, suck the blood off like if i scab? cut yeah oh, I I know, maybe you. not I maybe not a like scab you. but like if i cut my hand and it was like bleeding i just eh, I, I was young i was young yeah, i don't yeah, do it yeah. anymore well obviously. no it is a common young thing though and i never had that when i was young there was this one kid named yeah. uh let's call him michael let's call him michael yeah he Dickhead. was <laughs> he um year one <laughs> and two early like years yeah which is like if you're an international listener like seven eight years old yeah he was in um class with me anyway yeah yeah he was sitting there picking scabs off his knees i remember so vividly licking that and that's that's a bit ish no nah, i know don't what like he did the scab part of it once nah. it's scabbed over leave that bitch yeah like, well just leave it yeah anyways keep going keep the going. worst yep. part he's licking it in the the thing yeah is like blood yeah then all of a sudden man literally i swear to god swear mums took a chunk into the, like just chewed on the scab and just swallowed it and i was like you are something else brother that's ugly that that's, that's ugly that's ugly that's ugly nah, that's actually bro. made my tum- that's made my stomach turn <laughs> i can't lie that's filthy how fuck bro scabs imagine what, chewing like, through like a scab. beef jerky just just having a munch oh, like, like that's, it'll that's be like filthy. leather that's, that's fucking fuck. filthy no i haven't seen anyone ever do that since but like you just triggered my brain Bro, with the blood just drinking. Slapped him up. I can't lie. Should've Imagine actually, it was kid. like I remember it so vividly. Like yeah. on his knee here, like a big a fuck big off. Big sca- fuck it wasn't off like scab. a little. Like it he tripped was, on the playground or something. Like, oh, it was after lunch. He'd come yeah. back in and it just started scabbing over a bit, and he was like, oh, just, just munch. No, that's actually no, filth. No. It's fucked up. But yeah, anyway, sorry. Back to topic. Anyways. That was just a side fucked yeah. up story. Yeah, moving back to um, MGK and that. Yeah, so they they apparently drank each other's blood, yeah. and then some. They're engaged now. Engaged. But um. You know what, like, it made me think of, like, yeah, so are they satanic, whatever, who knows? Yeah, like, yeah. is it like that? Mm. But um, there are, like I said earlier, conspiracies in regards to, like, certain rings and groups. And yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you yeah. heard the one with, um, what's her name? She ran for president, the female. Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with yeah. the children's blood and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, That's yeah. a more infamous one, isn't that, it? That? Okay, so, like, because there was a massive, like, conspiracy because when hillary's emails got linked mm. uh, leaked so the pizza gate shit yeah, all, yeah. That, all that pizza gate shit whatever whatever i don't think we'll get too, too deep into in, that no, yeah, no we no. won't get too deep into all of that 
But yeah, there's like a story. There's I, I know one specific story where they apparently it's like Hillary and this other woman were yeah, in a right. forest with these kids tied to trees and they cut the faces off them. Yeah, that's shit. it. Cut the faces. Yeah, they off cut the faces and, and, then, and then wore them. And then oh, like and put the like put the f- like cut that. their face off, yeah, that's put it fucked. over, and then drink their blood. Yeah, and it's like a whole thing to like keep you young, young and, and stuff, yeah, and, and shit youthful. like that. And it's dragged, yeah, because it, so it gets it gets deeper into like what kind of like the conspiracy behind it all. Yeah, was that there's this um ad- there's this chemical called like adrenochrome or adrenaline or something. That would be adrenaline. It's, it's not be, adrenaline. It's not yeah. adrenaline, but it's a, a chemical that. Yeah kids create when they're super scared or when right. they're, they're some, something along those yeah, lines yeah, yeah. and it's supposed to make you really youthful. Uh, this is all conspiracy, yeah, by yeah, the way. Yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. saying this is fact, <laughs> but it's supposed to make you really like youthful. youthful yeah. And these like super high, super elitist people are like got kid rings and shit coming through and they're yeah. like withdrawing this chemical from them to try and like Keep stay youthful and, and do all this type of shit. I've, I've actually heard that exact thing that mm. I don't know what the chemical is called, but that exact yeah, yeah, theory yeah. where yeah. there was people like scaring kids, having them frightened, then killing them and drinking yeah. their blood. because of this it chemical, like you said, they give some, them you something youthful. Yeah. yeah. That's fucked. Like we could sit here, th- like this was Luke and me sat in our show notes mm, period mm, mm, prior days. Yeah. We're like, do we jump into pizza gate or not? Do and like get into it. It's it's so it's full so on. We'd deep. have to dedicate a, a full episode, episode to it. Lie. Yeah, yeah. Because like you go on, you go on Instagram, and I'd like people make like the the, the reels. Of yeah. Like, oh, not reels. Sorry, they make like a story highlight. Oh right. Okay. And you know how you could like they're available twenty four seven. Story highlight. Oh yeah, then, like, yeah, on your, yeah, on your yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like, yeah, the, yeah. Like, oh, my beach trips. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that shit is. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Whatever that shit is. But they had like a. I've seen like a few, and it's like. They're like fucking like 20, 30 minutes long. Oh, wow. Of like- Just stories. Just stories Damn. and pages and all this type of shit that you can look into. I haven't seen one in a hot minute. I can't lie. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I could go and find yeah, one again. Yeah. But yeah, I, I remember going through like stuff like that and being like, damn, bro. That's I, I was so convinced about yeah. it at one point. I can't lie, especially well, when I remember like all I the Gisley and Maxwell and the Epstein stuff all happened. Mm. I was like, shut Ish. So I remember one night, you just brought this memory to me and mm. it, was, it was for a while, but I remember one vivid night where we had gone to a park to have a, a casual chill. Chill. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> and uh, what had happened, uh, you were like on your Pizzagate shit back then and like yeah, you yeah, sat yeah. down and broke it down to us. Oh, because we were there with the schoolboys. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the, yeah, yeah. the schoolmen and all the yeah, schoolmen. Yeah, like gang. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, you were telling me all this shit and I was like, bro, like, I couldn't even fathom it because I like I had never even thought of anything like this like to be it possible. Be anything, thing. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And you were just spitting like not facts, but you were giving me facts. Giving like you were giving me decent, in- information. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether it's right or not, the whether sources are right. Yeah, Who knows? The sources are true. And like but it's information, yeah, information that makes you think. Mm, mm, and I was mm. like, fuck. And I remember like the bushes are moving, and I'm like taking yeah, yeah, out, yeah. like thinking I'm gonna get taken and abducted. I remember you were saying at one point you were like, yo, yo, stop talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Fuck, you're freaking me out right now. I want to stop talking about this. I'm like, chat. But it is definitely interesting and. Regardless of whether it's true, it's not, whether facts are it, like the whole concept and the different theories around PTA is such a fucking it's mind blow. Dragged. So I, I reckon, yeah, maybe it's something we keep in our back pocket for a future episode if people maybe. are interested. Let us know. Yeah, let, let us know, know in the comments or something if you really want to hear about yeah, it. Yeah, message the cha- uh, page or yeah, yeah, chuck a comment in. Just let us know. And we'll, yeah. if we see if we see enough of them or we see any of them, we'll, we'll maybe give it a gaze. We'll give yeah. it a think. Could be a good time, I can't Could lie. Could be a good time. In regards to more blood, guts and death, yep. Um. South Korea have released, not South Korea, Netflix have released a trailer for a new South Korean zombies movie. Okay, yep. Called All of Us Are Dead. All of Us Are Dead. Um, it's like the idea is that these kids in a high school, mm-hmm. um, zombie apocalypse starts yep. and they're just fucked up and they call like the, the, tra- the way the trailer goes is we call a fucking like emergency helpline. Yeah, emergency helpline like, or something. Yeah. yo guys, we need help. They don't believe them. Da, da, da. They get a whole bunch of calls and they're like, oh fuck, maybe something serious. Yeah. And it's just pretty much a zombie movie. That's, yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, okay. And um. It looks sick. It looks sick. It looks fucking sick. I don't think yeah. I've had a chance to watch it. Yeah. I'll be honest. But just from like going off South Korean movies in general, I've always been a pretty big fan. Like they've, yeah. made, they've made a few bangers recently. Mm. I can't lie. Like in the last few years, especially. Yeah. That I've watched have always kind of, they've always kind of banged. Because what was that movie that we watched yeah. a while back? It was called Alive. Alive. Yeah. So if you guys haven't watched that on Netflix, put in Alive. It's another South Korean zombies movie. Yeah. Such a good, I think um, one thing I was, when I was looking it up, yeah. S- South Koreans are renowned for having notably good zombie movies specifically. Yeah. Because they are able to give this eerie 
feeling to zombies where like more mainstream Hollywood movies, it's like they're zombies. You don't really, yeah. whereas like they, I don't know how they do it obviously cause I'm not a fucking movie analytic. It's just built different. But yeah. when you watch it, you're actually a bit like, oh fuck. Like, oh shit, what's, yeah, happening? Yeah, what's oh, happening? What's happening right now? They actually now. got you an edge and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I, Alive was a really good one we watched. Mm, mm. Um, And this one seems to be a really good one. So I'm keen, I'm keen to watch that when it comes out. It could be a fun funky first but, time. Yeah, it got us thinking, what would we- What would, yeah, what's the game plan? Do- if- Anyone in a zombie apocalypse, if you were put in the predicament, shall I start or yeah, or? Let, let's let's run it. Okay, so I I'm saying it depends obviously where you are when it. I'll give when you a it, scenario when it hits. Yeah, give me give me a starting scenario like who I'm with, where I'm at, hey, what I'm doing. Let's just say hypothetically right now where we're sat, we're in the middle of recording a podcast. Yep, and you see boom, boom. You're like, what the fuck? Boom! And There's like, explosions, yo, uh, shit. all these type of shit. Yeah. Everything's going it's on. It's like People what the are running fuck? around. Shit's rattling, and we're yeah. like, "Yo, what the fuck?" We yeah. drop, we drop everything. We run into like the veranda. Pause recording. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll, yeah. we'll be back. Part yeah. two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, you look out, and it's like fucking maniac. Like cars are crashing. Like everything. It's just like going that, crazy. that typical start the, to a zombie the, movie. The the, the 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 like day one point yeah, zero yeah, type point thing. Zero. Yeah, yeah. So this is the setting. What what are you doing? What's your what's your protocol? Realistically, um. I would say we'd, I've always kind of had a game plan. Yeah, we of, have had this discussion every yeah, now and then. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've always kind of had a game plan of, I'd try and first make my way to like a, somewhere where I could get a sort of weapon. Mm. So I've always thought Bunnings or something like that would yeah. be pretty lit. Cause you go into Bunnings, you can make anything you fucking yeah, want. Yeah. Like realistically, as long as the Bunnings ain't run over, <laughs> you're fine. Yeah, you're fine, yeah. So if, if I could get to a Bunnings, that would be haps. Mm. I'd also probably say like a, I feel like a shopping mall could be pretty good because because we got Definitely West Point, a good shop. West Point, Blacktown, West Point, yeah, only yeah. around the corner. Yep. So we could we could swing on through to there. Yep. And it would have to be like a you'd have to just try and survive because I don't think it'd be so mantic though. Like yeah, in I, a shopping center fucked. during that time would be f- it'd be fast. Like let's say as well actually because this is a good constraint. Constraint is that the right word? It's a right a variable. I yeah, guess. let's let's add a variable. Yeah. But let's say you have like two three hours before you need to get out of the area. To oh, make it okay. a bit time. So, so, what, so like, how would you got, prioritize you got, things? Oh, what okay. would you do? So, yeah. I get you. I get you. So, I would probably say hit a, um, probably hit a Woolies first. Yeah. Or some shit like that and just hit a lick. Yeah. Like just, just run in there with everything. like, get two trolleys, run through and r- rack like all the canned goods, all of the like long life shit, yeah. anything that can last, cop it. Yeah. Just take it. If yeah. someone's trying to take my shit, just kill Fucking them. Kill. Fuck yeah. it. I honestly, if everyone's dying, I don't care. Yeah, like who's yeah. gonna, who's, what police are going to come find yeah, me? Uh, at that point you have to, like you have it's to. Survival. It's, yeah, survival. it's survival. It's survival. It's yeah, survival. I can't lie. Yeah. Like uh, me above everyone. Yeah, I can't lie. Sure. At, the, at the end of the day, I don't know if I could come to the terms of killing someone, but I'd, I'd definitely throw a fucking nah, clean someone fist on beans. Elbow. Uh, someone touches my beans. You just I'm, knifing I'm, them. I'm, I'm dipping You're them. You're them. Dipping just them on the side. Badly. I can't. Don't That's touch my beans. <laughs> Bro, either he's going to eat those beans or I'm going to eat those beans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, I want these motherfucking beans. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. it's haps. Okay. So, look, I don't think I'd kill anyone. I think it would have more be like a, I don't know, like, Cut them in the Achilles tendon or something so they can't chase after me. <laughs> yeah. And then just run. And then just ah, that's legs. a brutal one. That was hey man, it'll, yeah, it'll yeah, work. Yeah, it'll, it'll work. work. It'll yeah. work. Fuck it. So happy New Year's from our friends over at Manscape. The ball has dropped, but that does not mean you have to drop the ball on your balls. It's time you bring sexy back in 2022 and step your game up with the Manscape Performance Package 4.0. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscape to help them ring in the new year with the right tools for the job. Go to manscaped.com and use the code HDPOD for 20% off and free shipping. It's a new year, a new you, and a new you means not pubes. Happy 2022. It's time you ramp up your exercise and grooming routine this year for maximum gains. A six pack is a great New Year's resolution, but how about a six pack for your balls? The Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 contains six, yes, six essential tools for the ultimate below the waist grooming routine including ball deodorant, ball toner, disposable mats to clean up your mess, some boxes, and a cheeky travel bag. And of course, what would a performance package be, but without the signature Lawnmower 4.0? It'd be nothing, mate. The advanced skin-safe technology reduces cuts and nicks on your delicate nuts. It also comes equipped with a 4,000K LED spotlight oh. that will shine a light to the promised land 2022 looks to be. So start the new year with a fresh set of testes thanks to Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code HDPOD at manscaped.com. That is right. 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code HDPOD. Have no regrets this year with our friends at Manscaped. And back to the program. So, so yeah, so probably hit like a Woolies or something first. Yeah. And then make make our way to like a Bunnings, mm. get, get Bunnings supplies, yeah. go, go crazy on that. And then, yeah, once I've got kind of like a, like just 
just I feel like I've set myself up. Yeah. I'd probably head. Oh, I don't really know. Because part of me would want to head inland mm. and kind of get away from crowds, get away from population. Because as people should know, Australia, majority of its population is all located on the coast. Yeah. So if you head inland and you can find yourself a reasonably nice little area with yeah. not too many people around. Like a town. Like yeah, a like town. A, a, a nice little town or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah, you run into that shit because most likely all the people in the town have probably dipped as well. Mm, mm. So you kind of move in and just take over where they yeah, were yeah, yeah. and kind of set yourself up there. Yeah. Or I would think like a boat, like trying to get all that shit on a boat. Yeah. Get on the boat and then just. Yeah, bro, if you had a yacht, you'd be pretty fucking oh, you'd set. Be for set. Zombies bro, billionaires apocalypse. are set if there's a zombie yeah, apocalypse. Yeah. I can't lie. Because you either go to a jet. private island or you go to a fucking just yacht. Dip. You just chill, you know what I mean? Well, I've always wondered why can't zombies swim? Or if if they can't swim, yeah. why don't they just walk along the ground of the of the floor of the ocean type thing, and then just get to where they're needing to go? Because they can't die. Yeah, true. They don't need their lungs. Yeah, like who's to stop them from actually going That's, in the ocean and uh, like and and traveling? You I know think what it's I mean? an awkward thing to kind uh, of imagine. Imagine and like if someone because it hasn't been done, has it? Like you don't no really one's watch really, movies or shows with zombies in water. I've never seen yeah, a zombies show where they've got like zombies in water. Yeah, because I feel like it'd be something where like if it were done wrong, there'd be a, either heavily like yay or nay for it. By yeah, a lot of criticism. Yeah, there yeah. Would, I, I don't think there'd be any because like you said the the walking one. I I cringe at that. I'd be like, nah, they can't just walk. Yeah, they can't. They're not just weighing a ton. Yeah, and just and stay. Yeah, so I, if they were to do that, I'd be. That'd be distasteful for me. But then at the same time, they can't swim. Yeah, and then got if no you brain, saw them, yeah, they've swimming. They've got no brain power. So how do they have a correct fucking freestyle stroke? Yeah. <laughs> like it's dragged, I can't lie. You just see a fucking zombie doing butterfly towards yeah, you. Bro, like, I'd be fu- fucked. That'd actually I, be fucked. I'd jump in. I'd jump yeah, in. I'd be like, yeah, teach me that shit. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to do that. So teach me that shit. But um, sorry. Back do you reckon, yeah. uh, sorry. Do you no. reckon zombies keep the traits of the humans that they ate? Well, like Usain Bolt got bit or something. Yeah, yeah, no, like, yeah, That's Usain Bolt fuck. got bit or like a high jumper got bit and man's is jumping like two stories into That's buildings crazy. and stuff. crazy. Because you know how your body can do more than your, like you physically think it can? Yeah, like yeah, your, yeah. Like your, with adrenaline and all that type of yeah, shit, yeah, you yeah. can like do, do crazy, crazy, crazy shit. ass yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. If becoming a zombie takes away that prohibitor yeah, in your yeah, brain yeah. and you no longer have that and you can trigger, max out on things you max out on things yeah. you start jumping fucking like a story at a time That's type fuck. thing have you ever thought about that type of shit they should do that i reckon they haven't done that for a concept i'm thinking about it whenever you think of like a zombies thing they're just zombies you yeah, know they're just zombi- zombi- they, they should do that like they should but have like a yeah each zombie has a specific thing that they're is good at tailored to that human that got bit you know yeah, what i mean yeah because yeah. imagine like curry gets bit <laughs> just colby <Yeah. laughs> just, they're just out here doing anything but like also do you reckon like you know how the zombies have always like come out of the ground in like in like yeah, older typical films. Ways, yeah, yeah, typical yeah. typical zombie will like come out of the ground yeah, yeah. already dead, being brought yeah, back to life yeah. type thing. At what point, like, do they have to have still have flesh on their skin to become a zombie? Yeah, you can't so it has, to, so it has to so it has to die in the last like year. Yeah, let's say that because like what I think the whole idea of a zombie is it, it's alive whilst it's dead to live because it's like living. Yeah, because it's still got flesh yeah, and shit on yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah, somehow yeah. still moving because like the heart would be pumping. I assume. I guess. Uh, it's weird. Yeah. It's dead, but it's, it's, it's alive. Yeah, it's but such a. It, I mean, it's all fictional anyway. Yeah. So there's no, there's no factor yeah, cap. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just it's it's whatever. But I'd say if you had like a bone box, like a yeah, just a, a bunch of skeletons, box, yeah, just it wouldn't do anything. It, yeah. it wouldn't do shit. No, because yeah, because I've always like kind of thought about that. Because like you see like films where like they're like people in graveyards are coming up out of mm. the thing. It's like bro, your bones. You died yeah, in like yeah, 1850, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like fuck off, go home. Yeah, like um, there was an Abraham Lincoln zombie movie, wasn't there? Like a few years back, something like that. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, it, when you think, when you think, when like you're actually that, deeper, yeah, and you're, you're like, like, how do you still have skin? Mm, like, what, what it, did you like come up as a skeleton, steal yeah. some guy's skin, and just keep <laughs> going? Back, yeah. Like, what, what's, what's the go there? Damn. Oh. Um, but yeah, back. Sorry, what I was gonna say. Back to what your point is. Back to what my point is. You said yeah. you were gonna be out in the west, so you've gone to Woolies. You've, you've gone to gone to Woolies. Some grab some, shit. grab some cans and what's stuff. What's your next plan? You've gone out to the town in fucking Whoop Whoop. Gone out to the town in Whoop Whoop. And they just post up there and try and make like a civilization. Yeah. Well, I think realistically, if you go to a town, you'd probably be better off going to like a farm. Yeah. Or something like trying to find, shit. trying to find farmland yeah, somewhere. Yeah. And like hoping that you go to like some rich ass farm that's got mm. like a backup generator and shit on it. And you can just post up there. Yeah. With, because like, I guess you'd need to find something to keep yourself busy. And, and self-sustain at some yeah, point. Yeah. Because you'd, you'd obviously yeah. have enough to... Do get, whatever you need for months, for whatever, a few you know little I mean? while, but then once the world stops 
making canned beans, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah, because like The Walking Dead, I haven't watched it properly, but I know mm. there's an ish in one of the episodes where like they they live like outer, they yeah. live like w- wild, like yeah. Yeah, wild area. Out, yeah, out yeah, yeah. yeah. But they need some resources that like only the city can provide. Mm-hmm. So they have to go on missions to go into like the city. But and that's terrorized because like you said earlier, why you would leave is because of population. High population, which high population is zombies. Density, it's ish, yeah, yeah, so they have to go back and do an ish to go in, get shit and stuff like that. Ish. So yeah, it'd be fucked if you you didn't grab everything that you sort of need. And you, you never know what you need because in that predicament, you're just grabbing everything. Yeah, you're just grabbing everything. But you like, can... fuck, you'd, you'd never want to go back into the city once you're out kind of thing. Yeah, I think it would be kind of like a... I, I kind of think of it as like a, the Last of Us. Mm. Yeah, you know, you know yeah, the, the game. Last of, yeah, 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 yeah. So like in that type of sense of like, if you, like people probably wouldn't actually go back to the city. They just try and set up a whole new civilization somewhere well, that, else. That's what I said. That's why I was suggesting mm. earlier. Like mm. I think if I were to do it, I do the same kind of predicament as you. I would go to like a, literally a store. Yeah. Grab a fuck ton of shit. And, and one thing I'd say as well, you mm. find like a, a car dealership and you fucking rack a, an SUV or some oh, fucking yeah, yeah. or you something. Get, you, get some, you get a big bitch. Yeah, big yeah, bitch. Yeah. And you fucking, yeah, you go to a supermarket. Oh, you need like a Ram. You know, the big yeah, fuck off Ram. Yeah, you yeah. get one of those, put a fucking, fucking tow bar yeah, thing yeah, in yeah, it, whatever fuck, it is. All that type of shit. Yeah, and yeah. just kill these motherfuckers. Drive, drive be, by. It'd so be great. Clean. Oh, yeah, sorry, um, keep going. Yeah, then you go to like a supermarket, you chuck in a whole bunch of food, mm, mm, grab mm, some mm. like things if you can while you're there, just um, and then just fuck off pretty much. Toothbrush, toothpaste. And then I would think usual. like, this was another question I was going to ask. If yeah. Would you prioritize family? And like, who would you prioritize if you had the fucking quickly had to get it? You know what I mean? Yes, I would prioritize them in the sense of like, I think if we had like, yeah, like you said, like two, three hours, I think I would go home and then if family wasn't home, mm. I'd call them and be like, yeah, where the fuck are you? And if they're Let's like- Let's say they're in Wollongong, they're in Whoop Whoop. Like, do you say, sorry, I'll see you in another lifetime? Y- yeah, you have to. Y- yeah, no, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's like, look, if I can ever get cell reception again, I'll try to call you. Yeah. If Or or you when you talk to them, you say like, look, I'm probably not going to see you for a while. In six months, try and meet here. Whoa, you do one of those crazy missions? And then, yeah, and then do one of those. Damn, and just say, that's crazy. And just say, like, look, if, if, if you actually get through the initial survival yeah. of all of this and you can go places, let's try and meet here in nah, three, six that. months. You know what I would say? I would say the same kind of vibe, but I'd say meet X. Like, wherever you think you're going to go that's more safe and suitable, Yeah. say, try. however you're going to do it, try to head in that direction because that's where I'm going to head, you know what oh, I mean? Okay, I Rather than coming back because that'd be a death mission. Right? That's where, well, like, movies not, are made of. Like, maybe not, like, coming back, but, yeah, more in the sense of, like, meet at yeah, X, somewhere. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that'd be, like, imagine, like, yeah, you said that. You're like, yo, six months' time, brother. I'll be back. I'll be back for you. Come here. I'll bring my RAM. Yeah, I'll yeah, be back. Yeah. I'll, I'll be coming through. Because, like, imagine the predicament, unfortunately, die. Yeah. You get there. Yeah. And you, you're, un, you're unaware, yeah. but you're like, fuck, how, you question yourself, how long do I have to wait? Are they going to oh, come any sooner? Yeah. So now you're in more of an ish because you're like, you could be days now, you're just posted. Fuck. It'd be fucked. Yeah. Well, I can't lie. I think if, let's say, get the message across, like, hey, meet me here in six months. Yeah, yeah, six yeah. months passes, I pull up to the location. I'd probably stay there for like a week. Mm-hmm. Week at most. Yeah, yeah. Only because, like, at the end of the day, you do want your family. Yeah, yeah. Like, family's apps. Yeah, and, yeah. like, you, you would like to know that your family's made it. But if after a week, no one's pulled up, mm. you you know for a fact either they're dead or they're... On an ish. Yeah, they're on an ish and, and can't, can't get to you. Yeah, and yeah. because you can't contact them, you can't help it. Yeah. And you just have to accept that that's that. Yeah. And you just... And like they could, as soon as you left, they could have come twelve hours they after that. Up, yeah, but like but you can't just sit there forever and hope. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, you die. it's you just die. Ish. Yeah, it's an ish ass time. Like I'm not gonna lie, I've, like we, it would be cool to actually experience that. Like it would be fucking shit, and yeah, I hope we yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. like, imagine like just being like, if they offered a game yeah. that was a simulation. So you got to simulate yourself in uh, like, let's avatar, like let's say Avatar. Let's style. say yeah, that avatar, day, avatar that style. Day. Like you, you sit down in a chair, yeah. all the way over here, and you simulate yourself into mm. another world, and like time moves a hundred times faster yeah, in the yeah, real yeah. world, in that world, so yeah. that only ten seconds has passed, like ten years type stuff. thing. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's that type of thing. Like really drag it. Yeah, if you could like put yourself through that ish, where you feel like you've lived a whole another lifetime, but in a zombie apocalypse, would you? Do you get the consequences of death? Is it like one to one? No, no, no. Like once you die, you just wake up. Yeah. That because I also imagine waking up. That'd be fucked. You'd be fucked because eventually in that simulation, you'd forget about life before Yeah, because you lived in there so long. Because you'd lived in there, especially if you lasted. Let's say you set a high score on that bitch, live for like 25 years. 
you die as like a as like an old dude in well, that, that shit, and you wake up young, fresh body. That, that that's the on? crazy thing with where simulations and metaverses and all mm, that can mm, go mm, in the future mm, because. Mm. Shit like this can eventually be it a possibility, happen. which Ever. is fucked. The, the only thing that they like probably can't do is the whole time. Yeah, warping time thing. so that a second here yeah, is the, 20 the, minutes in I, game type the thing. The only way you could do that realistically, I think, just off the top of my head, is if you say like it's 24 hours an hour day right now, mm. when you put them in that world, they obviously have to stay like, let's say a minimum of three days so they become acclimatized to that world. Mm -mm -mm. And then you make the days with it in that reality like, 16 hours a day mm. so like your sense of time is going to become warped now because oh. whilst it's 24 hours outside you're stuck in here and you're used yeah, to this you're, now you're going and that you're your living time in that would be fucked you know what i mean i get you i get you i get you do you also think that like let's say like super 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 high tech mm. you could like connect your consciousness up into it in, in a sense so like you're 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 playing it through your consciousness type yeah. thing i feel like if you run it at a high, like if you run the program at a high enough speed that it was shooting the information back into your brain. At like light speed. At like light yeah, speed, yeah, let's yeah. say. And you were receiving all of that information super fast and you were like living in that world super, mm -hmm. super fast. It could actually work like that. Like, do you get what I mean? Isn't yeah. like you just play it, like it, your brain receives all that information yeah, stupidly yeah. fucking Well, that's quickly, what I mean, like exactly it, like it, Avatar. Yeah, it slows down in. Yeah. Bro, that's wild. Yeah, that'd be fucking crazy. Lie. And- like it can be scary, the metaverse and certain concepts in regards to it. Mm. But mm. even though that's scary, that's something I would try. Oh, but that's 100%. where it's fucked up though. Cause people start probably you, you living in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when certain things are made like, like fuck zombies now. Let's say like, yeah, people make like a simulation where like everyone's rich, everyone's living a bougie life. Mm, da, 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 mm, da. Mm, mm. Like, But on the, would, on the outside, yeah. everyone's just posted. Yeah, the only issue I'd see, but like Wally-esque style, I guess you could say is like, Humans you have to eat and you have to drink, right? So you have to get out the simulation at some point. But mm, like, mm. imagine you just sat on the on a this tube. world with tubes. Yeah, That's and you're ish. and you're living in there. That's ish. So you're pretty much unconscious. You're born. Yeah. yeah. You get to a certain age. You then you're just living in unconscious and thing, but you're living in this other world. That's fucked. That would be fucked. But there would have to be someone on the outside. They'd have to to, be. to make sure that and the monitor, tubes were working it, yeah, and all, all that. that type of shit. Make sure the servers stayed up, all mm -hmm. that type of shit. So like, it would, it would be very um someone would make a lot to gain yeah yeah for like sure. someone someone would make a bag off a hundred percent and like i don't know i but don't think i don't think as many people as we think would be into it are actually into it yeah right in the sense that like i think if you offered that idea to anyone over the age of like 35 yeah they're saying no yeah no well i think like they'd have to hook them in on some insane idea like the zombie apocalypse because i wouldn't go in there to live a normal just, world just life thing. I'd rather live like be here just, conscious, just, you know what I mean? Yeah, living, but yeah. if someone gave me the opportunity of like a zombie apocalypse or some like dinosaurs or like some, mm, some mm, outlandish mm, shit. Mm, mm, shit you couldn't get in real yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. how the people would start to get their we'll like get into dabble it, yeah. their toes into that water and, and then, then it might it hook starts, them, you know? It just keeps going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you, I get you, I get you. But yeah. How cool would it be to see dinosaurs again? I can't mm. Like dinosaurs in like in a simulation would be lit. Well, they, they have this thing um in the making or it's done prototyping, I'm not sure. Mm. Haptic gloves, you know what they are? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you're like playing the game, you can feel you things. Feel, but yeah. then, like if you, if someone ta slaps the top of your hand, you yeah. feel a slap, slap on the top of your hand, yeah. it's dragged. So I can't one, lie. I forget where I saw it from, but like the idea of maybe Pokemon with haptic gloves would be lit. Like imagine holding a Pikachu. So it actually feels yeah, in your you hand. You feel like you got a Pikachu. weight of yeah, Pikachu. Yeah. But that would be so hard to like, I feel like cause I think they're making haptic like suits. And oh yeah, like it'd that. go to a full suit at some point. Because yeah. when you think about it, they already have three 60 degree treadmills mm. that you can put on a VR, VR yeah, yeah. headset. And, and you're like stuck and into gloves, a harness. And, and you're like, strapped yeah, into yeah. like a, a, a little bouncy circle thing. Pad yeah, and you yeah. just run around yeah. and do whatever the fuck you want on it. So if it can eventually get to that point, like who knows? Mm. You know, who be, knows how fucking, how much more it can get? I don't know if we have this in Australia. It should be, it would be fun and we should do it. Mm. They have um VR shooter games. Yeah. The way it works, you get into a warehouse. Mm. It's an empty warehouse, but like you chuck on the VR, they give you an actual gun oh. and you run around and they've synced it. So everything, so everything is, is in the yeah, same yeah, spot. Yeah, so you're yeah, not yeah, running yeah, into yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, you just play like a six VC, six foot shooter game in VR. Yeah, that's lit. I yeah, we lie. should do that. I know it's definitely a thing in America and stuff, but I'm yeah. pretty sure we do yeah. have it in Australia as well at some places. Bro, but that would be so fun to do. Imagine it gets to a point where like, this is this is going into like military and stuff now. Yeah. Let's say it gets to a point where the military can get like the building plans for, let's say the building that Osama bin Laden was <laughs> yeah. hiding in 
get the full like building a 3D plans, a full it, yeah. 3D blueprint image of exactly everything in that building, like satellite scans, yeah. it, figures the whole depth, all that type of shit. Yeah. Uploads it into a VR system, and then you just train Mendham to do that. To, they to, probably to, get to a point to like go that. through to go yeah. like to, so they know exactly where everything's gonna be. All the doors have to walk through, all the windows have yeah. to jump through. Where these Mendham usually sit for dinner, where they sit for breakfast, everything. the 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 balcony that they have a dart on every every <laughs> afternoon, <laughs> like. Like, imagine you just can learn something without ever going to it. Yeah, I, I don't think people realize or fathom yet. This is why NFTs are going to be huge. Mm, mm, mm. Um, not, they're not going to be the full encapsulating thing of metaverses and all this yeah, stuff. But yeah. um, just in back, sorry, back in regards to metaverse, they, like yeah. VR, all that, it's going to be so much bigger than you think. Yeah. Or people think maybe that, it's, yeah, it's going to be, gonna be it's going to be crazy. Huge, man. Yeah. Because like, I was a bit skeptic of it. Like, how much is it actually going to be? Because like, when it first came out two years ago, you had like, on the PlayStation, you play some weird game mm. like that. Well, I think I think realistically, to give credit, it started all the way back at the Wii, mate. The Wii? The Wii, mate, with the I guess, you know, moving around. You're not and shit really like that. in a different like a VR is like you're in a different realm experience because you're seeing a different thing as well. You Have know you what ever I mean? played Wii bowling, mate? I was in a whole different world. <laughs> you're I that close lie. to the Bro, screen. I was, you're like, I was going, hey, I had my strap on though, so I never hit the TV when I let go. Oh, my fucking cousin. Yeah. We went to because I had family that lived south, mm, mm. and we used to like. Used to, uh, we yeah. usually or used to go down there during Christmas as a whole family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he got a Wii and straight into the fucking TV. Mish. Our grandmother's TV. Mish. Plasma, just Mish. Fucking, Mish. Fucking, fucking shanked it. Free this kid. And um, it was because that side of the family, like twenty something cousins, like seven aunties oh, and dragged. uncles of yeah. each. Like yeah. it's a big family. Mm, mm, and mm. it was like a, we're all young at the time cousins. Yeah. And we're like, oh fuck, his this is dad fuck, is in yeah, trouble. He's, he's so gonna fucked. get slapped. Oh my god. But yeah, yeah fortunately, my grandparents are like nonchalant. Like, it's they're like it's fucked it's a tv it, you know? you're a, you're yeah, a kid yeah, yeah. it's it, it, learn the lesson yeah. but we're not gonna punish you for yeah, it type yeah. thing but yeah that's, that's a that's a good time i can't lie it's fucked damn um yeah so off that that was a good little that was a ramble. waffle I can't yeah lie. waffle and a half that, 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 was, that was a good time that was a good time um we have kanye he's also releasing a documentary i think we touched on it briefly like a month ago like when we were talking about the juice world one he was oh, potentially okay. having one yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah the trailer has officially come out too now um it's gonna be on netflix as well yeah three-part netflix documentary i'm actually so keen for that mm, mm. That's, that's gonna be another uh good show series i never watched the michael jordan one apparently that's really good i liked that did you I watch really it? Yeah, I, should, I think I, like, I think you'd love it yeah I'll be i think i would honest. love it yeah i'm yeah. surprised that you haven't watched it but it like it showed like, I guess the whole like, and I took that personally. Like, you know how like that uh, side of Michael Jordan, yeah, yeah, how yeah. he was just built different. Yeah, like it yeah. really, really showed that he was built different. Yeah. Like he was just out here doing things. Cause like, I've always really liked documentaries on people. Yeah. In the sense of like sure, the, the Peep documentary. Um, There was the Travis documentary. The Juice one we just had. The Juice one we just had. Um. Travis Scott, we had the look, mama can fly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. I, I don't think I said that. Yeah. Anyway, but that, that's another one. Um, did Trippy do a documentary? Nah, he had like a show series. What was that thing that we watched? That fucking that made me hate Trippy Red. Yeah, but I don't what know what was it was. It? it was a show series of Trippy Red, and he was like on it, and it was just kind of like a day in the life, his life day yeah, in the life thing. Yeah, 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 it wasn't really like a documentary behind the set. I guess it's behind the set, but it wasn't like. It was a lot of these documentaries to be a documentary like, from start yeah, to end. Exactly. Type thing. It was just yeah. like boom, here he is right now. He's what, what he's doing. doing. Yeah. yeah. Um But you know, yeah, it's a, yeah, sorry, as you were saying. I think I think like all of them just in general give you like a really deeper, closer look into how these guys actually live their lives. Yeah. And it also made me realise like because I remember obviously when you're like 15, 16, 17, you see these really famous people and you think like, damn, they must be living like crazy ass lives, like doing all this really cool, crazy shit. Like yeah. I could never imagine myself in their shoes. Mm. But then you watch these documentaries and you see that they go through all the same things that we all go through. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. like people like Juice, for instance, was struggling with mental illnesses and stuff like that. Like yeah. you had Peep, same kind of story. Yeah. Michael Jordan was a grinder, worked hard mm. all his life, like really made his living by working as hard yeah. as he possibly could. Yeah. And it just kind of shows that like when they say like, these type like real like celebrities are real people like, yeah yeah no one really gets it no yeah, one's like no. no but they're still a celebrity like mm. they, they got money or everything's fine yeah, but yeah. It's, like, it's not that it's not like yeah because we're so alienated from their person because we mm. only see mm. their art their whatever they well, do we see what whatever I mean? they want us to see yeah yeah, yeah whereas yeah. The, the documentaries give you that, that insight behind look into, the scenes yeah. what's actually going on for sure and i think um like that's obviously really good to get a more whole understanding of the human mm, mm, um mm. But like, I think that's why I preferred and I like YouTube a lot because it's more 
personal experience with the viewers you watch, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you really know who they are. Like you feel like you have a connection to them because they're more there who they are, you know what mm. I mean? hundred percent. Well, that's why like, for instance, like going off that as well, Twitch mm. is something that I used to watch so much of because Twitch is like literally live. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. see these people, who they are, what they do, how they react to things. Yeah. Like, yeah, people put it on a bit because mm. you've got to obviously entertain, entertain, yeah, entertain yeah. the audience. But like, you really get to see like when when like for instance like if someone gets a dono of like a hundred dollars, yeah. they're like, holy damn, fuck, like yeah. thank you so much. And it's like, damn, this guy like I always thought this guy was like a really big streamer, but a yeah. hundred dollars has been donated to him and he's over the fucking moon about yeah. it. It just shows like people are real. Yeah, people are out here well, like living their real lives, trying to just do whatever they think is best. Yeah, for sure. And this podcast to an extent would be like that for people that know of us. So mm, obviously mm. friends that know us, they just mm. know us. But like if we're like someone we went to school with, don't really know them and they watch this or they're looking at this. Mm, mm, mm. This is like another- They get a way deeper insight of as who to we how are, our what minds we, work, yeah, yeah. What, what we like to talk about, what we're interested yeah, and in. And I feel like that's always been something that intrigues majority of the population in the world full stop. Like mm, everyone mm. wants to know, everyone wants to- Everyone likes to have that little bit yeah, of information. insight and yeah. stuff like that. So- um. Yeah, no, documentaries are back to the point. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah they are, That's they're very intriguing. I'm not really like a show movie-esque person. You know this, a lot yeah. of people know this. Yeah. But um, yeah, I haven't watched the Michael Jordan one, but when I tend to watch stuff, it's usually stuff based on more real Yeah, things. real events yeah, instead of you, just you tend to learn fictional. from them, you know what oh, I mean? 100%, because you can like, learn lessons yeah, from other people's stories type thing. For sure, yeah. Mm. And yeah, this, again, back to the point. Back to genius. genius. Yeah, he's released it. Uh, released it. Released he's it. now going to have his three part documentary coming, and that's one I definitely watch because I, I think it's gonna be. be I good. think it's gonna be sick. Who yeah. do you think? Who do you think is gonna be on it? Like just everyone. Uh, we were talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Twenty one yeah. years is how how long it dates back to. Yeah. So he's OG been Kanye. with Kim K. He's been with fucking. He's been out of a relationship. He's had beef with Drake. He's he, made songs with like Pharrell Williams that you see in the trailer yeah, yeah, early yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Like he's been fucked. he's been out here for a minute. Yeah, like a hot ass minute. Twenty one years, bro. Three three part documentary in twenty one years. It's gonna be a jam packed fucking. Well, I think series. I think they might avoid a few things. For like, sure. Like they'll probably They'd have to. I don't think they'll mention the Trump Kanye relationship. Like I think they'll stay away oh, from yeah, that. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't think. No. I don't think they'll mention that too much. Um, and I don't know, cause like there's the whole bipolar stuff and all that stuff going on. I don't know how deep they'll get into all of mm-hmm. that. Cause I, I think this might more be a story of where he be, where he begun in yeah. a sense and not really the whole story. Line. Yeah. The whole story. I think, yeah. it, I think it might more just be like a, where he's kind of begun so, and yeah. his uprising in that mm-hmm. sense. And then after he got to fame, I think it will kind of quickly cut, there. cut through. The yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. go through everything, kind of give yeah. a quick little timeline. I, I think it's going to be on the mind of, mind of him more so. It's going to be on like how he's like the manifestation God, mm, the fucking, mm, mm. he's just some he's just, dude on some he, other he wavelength and stuff. Some, he's, yeah, like, he's just made it work yeah. his whole life. Like he's crazy. Yeah. So they'll probably show some like pivotal points early on. Mm. Uh, he's come up especially as like the main bulk of it. Yeah. And then, yeah, like you said, like they won't really touch on post fame. They'll sort of like quickly encapsulate everything that he's done to really make yeah. that oomph feeling of like, mm. he went from this to that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so, they won't, yeah. they won't sit, sit, sit there on and it. look at every accomplishment he's done exactly in well, depth. You know what I mean? Honestly, three part could be first part come up, second part kind of Middle. A, a brief recap of everything he's done since he got famous. Yeah. And then the last part is like where he is now, what he's doing now. Interviews with certain people. Yeah, interviews back and yeah, stuff like that. with people. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, I could be really sick. I can't lie. Yeah. Who do you, who do you think's next to make a documentary? Uh, no, nah, let, let's rephrase the question. If, if someone were to release one next, who oh. would you love it to be? Oh, I let's like that. that. I like that better. I like that better. I like that better. Um, oh, you've, you've hit me. You've hit me there. All right. yeah. Cause there's so many people. Like, I can't lie. I think I'd really like to see a Polo G documentary. Yeah. Just to see some more stuff about... I'd like to see Polo talking about, like, his upbringing in Chicago and everything like that. Because yeah. I I think the whole Chicago environment is really interesting. Mm. And just the whole... Well, just because a lot of people, especially from the music industry yeah, recently, have, have, have come, come out, from there. Have yeah. come out of Chicago. And I think it's that whole thing of, like, 
they they rap to survive in yeah. a sense. And it, it would be so cool to see his perspective on that. And what that he, lifestyle actually is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And see like how how much of it is fact, how much of it is cap. Yeah, yeah. Because like there's, there's, there's like a lot of people out here that are claiming they've done all this, all that. Well, but I always mention it. You never know if it's, it's true. It's Little Tekka where he- Yeah, um, He's he, went to, he went to Paris, Paris, Paris yeah, like yeah. He's never left the country. Yeah, so if you guys haven't seen it, Genius, they do, it's the place or company, whatever, that do the behind the scenes of the lyrics where they yeah. sit down with the person, they break down the stuff mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they go, like they give him like four in a row yeah. and he's like, oh, cap. And yeah. they're like, yeah, cap. And it's funny because he's honest about yeah, it. Yeah, it's super he's honest. just like, yeah. uh, it just sounds lit. I just put it in there. It was, it was a little lyric. Yeah. It sounded good. I put it in. But I, it doesn't mean it's true. What you're saying, there are people out here that th- claim they live these lives and this is weird. Yeah, you know what claim. I mean? Well, I mean, look at 6 9 as, yeah, like a, yeah. as like a prime example. I feel like he claimed a lot but I don't know if he was how really was about it, it as much as- I think he was definitely about it, but I don't know how deep- Yeah, how deep it- how, Or how was. long it ran for, yeah. in a sense. Like, I think it might've been a bit of a mix of when he came up, he started to become about it. Mm. And then it was all just kind of tied in together. Yeah, for sure. So it would be really interesting. But other than Polo, I think a Drake documentary is needed. Well, yeah, I was saying that earlier. Yeah. I don't think Drake would be who I'd want next, but especially seeing someone like Kanye, who's been in the game for so long to release one now, he'll be really interesting. Drake- mm. Because they're like the the two kings, I guess you could say. Yeah, yeah, or even like a Kendrick. Or a, yeah, oh, Kendrick. Would I want to see a J Cole documentary. Oh damn, that like that would well. actually yeah, bang. I can't yeah. lie. Like that would be nice. But uh, sorry, going back to Drake, I think now that Drake's got like a kid, he's like he spent Christmas at home with his kid, like yeah. just doing kid dad shit. things, yeah, just doing dad, dad things. Shit, yeah. Like he's just he's just posted. Yeah. So I think it would be really cool to see like a three part documentary of Drake in fucking what was that tv show that he started on drake yeah i didn't even remember know he, he was TV remember show it was the kid in the wheelchair nah bro i didn't even know that um 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 uh, you know to me. i'll look it up for you yeah you yeah, know look up look up drake tv show um it might come up with top boy because that was something oh degrassi oh degrassi i yeah. heard that for some reason yeah he was on so he was on degrassi yeah right and i think that's kind of where he started yeah um, I could be very wrong. Please don't mm, salute mm. me if I am. I'm yeah, not yeah. a huge Drake fan. This is not a, the people in yeah. the comments. Um, but yeah, so like seeing him come from like TV to then moving into the music industry, then dominating the music industry for years yeah. to then getting a, a diss released, exposing that he had a kid. Yeah, yeah. And now being a With father. Yeah, yeah. And now and now being a father that actually looks after his kid and is treating his kid right and all this type yeah. of shit. Like I think it would be really like it would be a really wholesome documentary in yeah. a sense. And it would feel complete mm. in the sense of like this is where he started. Yeah. This is the fuckery that he got up to in his twenties. And, and now he's he's yeah. an older mendum, yeah. he's wiser, he's learned, he's, yeah. he's he's got better like values in the sense of like mm. family and all that type of shit. Like yeah. it's I think that could be a really cool documentary. Yeah, for sure. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think, I think I would actually have to say J Cole. Well, I think I was about to tell you. Mm-hmm. I think they have done a J Cole one. Does that look like it? J Cole Forest Hills Drive Homecoming 2016. Uh, An hour and 24 minutes. I don't want to click on it because it'll start playing noise. But yeah. It says TV program. The rapper's life story is told through. Oh. Oh. Oh no no no. Oh. Oh wait. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh. I don't know if it's more. So, oh fuck, Sorry, who did guys, that as well? I'm a fake fan. No, nah, because Sean Mendes had a documentary. Yeah, it wasn't a documentary. It was oh, a like the- a clip of all these concerts he's done together and a bit of talk in between. It wasn't like the behind the scenes. It was yeah. literally like a a rewatch of his last tour that he did worldwide mm, mm, mm. with a bit of like stuff in between. I get you. I get you. Documentary, but it's not actually a behind the scenes documentary. It reminds me of that Khalid movie that we watched. Were you there for that? Yeah, yeah that was just the album screening, dude. That was, was, no, but there was like a story yeah, behind promote, it yeah, and all yeah, this yeah, type yeah, of shit. Yeah, like yeah. it was like a, this is who Khalid was before he yeah, became- yeah. American team. Yeah, all that type of shit. Yeah. And it was like, oh, it's kind of yeah. kind of funky. I think because I love him so much, Post Malone, I would love to see oh, his come I up. Forget? I can't lie. From, from a kid as well. Like you've seen the goofy 16 year old Post Malone yeah, photos come yeah, around. Yeah, 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 I'd yeah. love to actually see like the him. memes and stuff. Yeah, yeah from mm-hmm. then to now. Because he's been a bit of a recluse the last three years. Yeah. And I'd like to know what he's doing as well. Away. You know what I mean? He's kind of backed like, away from it all. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, that'd be interesting for me for my one. I'd, I'd I want to know who made him write um, I Fall Apart. Yeah. That's what I, I want to, I want to ex- like exclusive on the documentary, yeah, like fuck this bitch. Is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just cause I think that'd be really cool. Mm. Damn, honestly, Posty. How did I forget? Yeah. I can't lie. I feel I'm, I'm embarrassed You're myself. Um, God damn, man. Without further ado oh. though. Oh. We'll jump into the segment. Oh. So again, it's unnamed. We don't know. Guys, if you have 
like ideas or suggestions, suggestions. or just something. Let, let us, us know. know. Let us know because we don't. We haven't like hit the nail on the head yet with it. Yeah, we we've we haven't kind of one. We've kind of been a bit back and forth. Yeah, just yeah. Just kind of figuring stuff out. We don't know a hundred percent yet. Yeah, but um, we've got some this week. We've got yeah, some sorry. good ones as well. Um, keen to jump into them. You guys did enjoy um it last week. The only issue is we need more. Come on, guys. We need, Come we on, need guys. More. We need we need you guys to give us some stories, please. Yeah, anything and everything. I think like as weeks go on and mm-hmm. more stories come, people will be more comfortable with putting theirs in and like yeah, just looking kinda at what there ex- was and stuff like ex- that. Yeah, because don't look at it as exposing yourself because at the end of the day, we'll keep it anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. Yeah, and it, what what you send to us is not going to go anywhere. Like nah, it's, it's not something that yeah. we, we are interested in sharing. No, nah, not at all. And if you fear that is a thing. Yeah, then like, true. Yeah. That's, that's a different thing I didn't think about. Yeah. Cause you guys obviously have to trust us mm, to, to get these stories, but yeah. Hand on heart can promise. Yeah. That probably. If, if you send stuff through, we're not going to expose you to people. Yeah. No, it's, nah. it's, it's just a, locked within our realm. You know yeah, what I mean? Within the, within yeah. the Instagram DMs. Yeah. It'll, it'll stay there. But yeah, no, t- yeah. no further ado. Let, so, let's get into it. Yes, yeah, sir. So we'll start off with this one. We'll give it an alias name of Sarah. Sarah. I oh, know it's a dude. My bad. Oh no. Oh uh, no. Pete. Pete. Okay. My guy Pete. Let's go. So there's a girl at the gym that is hella cute. Yep. We're usually there at the same time, and we seem to catch each other's eye more often than we don't. Mm. I want to swing, but if it fails, it would be really awkward. Should I do it or nah? Oh, n- uh, gym girls are uh, are very very. Ishi top ishi ishi just because like you don't want to be that guy at the gym that walks up to her yeah. and just makes it really awkward especially if they're painting because you know yeah. every other guy's looking she knows she's getting looked at yeah yeah, yeah. and you don't want to be that guy that walks over and then she's just like oh no sorry like, yeah, yeah like leave yeah. me alone yeah all but that type of shit he did say they were catching some some eye contact getting, but he could be like at the same time but it could be that it. thing of she's catching him staring yeah, and yeah. being like the fuck do you want like yeah, go yeah, away yeah so like oh I would say if you, oh, but he doesn't, he wouldn't obviously know this girl because like it's just a gym thing. No, yeah, yeah. If you can try and sync it up one day where you're like leaving the gym at That's the same time say. or something, yeah. then like maybe it's a good cop. Or yeah. if you're like, you're getting there when she's leaving or something, mm. like maybe, maybe just drop a quick little, oh, hey, like I'll just, or just start with a hey. Yeah. I'd say literally just because, because obviously if you're both, um, what's the word? Uh, there yeah. enough, enough to to catch each other and yeah, see each yeah. other's eyes. You're obviously both going consistently. Yeah. So if you get in a consistent hey, and just start with like a oh hey, oh, mm. bye hey bye hey bye yeah, oh yeah. hey how was your workout today? Yeah, yeah. And then like, yeah, and then slowly mm. build the conversation so she doesn't just think you're just a gym creep. That's yeah, yeah, trying to shoot at her because she's the only cute girl in the in the room type yeah. thing. Like that's not what you want. No, number one rule I will say for you: mm. do not whatever you do, do not start the conversation while she's working out. No, 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 dead haps. Don't, don't, don't interrupt. Don't, don't interrupt. Yeah, let let her do her thing and because then, that's so awkward because she'll be puffed. Like she'll be midway. Like it's just not the time. Yeah, you know? she's probably like, red, sweaty. Mm, she probably doesn't mm. feel like she looks the best. Yeah, yeah. So if you're just coming over to her, she's gonna. Uh, the first thought will be go away. Yeah, like Luke said, catch mm. her on the uh, ins and outs mm-hmm. as young in and out. Mm. But yeah, you can either do like the subtle thing, like you said, just get the hay or whatever. To get the slow or build. If, if you're gonna rip the bandaid off, just go mm. hey, like I think you're cute. Um, da da da. Can I get your number? Yeah, can or I get your number? Can I get your, Can I? Or or. Instagram or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I would always say asking for someone's Instagram is better than asking for a number. Yeah. Because in, at least in my opinion, if I can get your Instagram, that gives you a full view of who I am yeah. in the sense of you can go through my Instagram. Like a biography. Yeah. 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 You, you know, you know what I do on my weekends. You know what I like to post about all that type of shit. Yeah. And I also get to see what you're about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you do on your weekends. Cause she might be a really cute gym girl, but she might be a Mormon yeah. and she, she goes to church every, like three and days a week your lifestyle. and that's just not who you want. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's good to kind of get a rough, gauge yeah and i think instagram is probably the best the best, the best way to get it yeah if, it, if she says no like it is what it is bro like you gotta you shoot your shot you, know what I mean? yeah, like yeah. you can't score if you don't it's shoot not, yeah exactly it's, it's number simple. one rule like yeah. you can't deep it like that like it might be awkward for a day or whatever mm. life goes on you know like it's, it ain't that deep it just moves like yeah like. yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good time like unless time. you go out of your way and make it an embarrassing situation that might be a bit different yeah just but don't try and force it yeah yeah if she says no cop it yeah yeah just move on don't don't think she's playing hard to get yeah yeah don't don't think she's she's playing mind games it's like no means no bro just just cop it and move on Move yeah. on with life. Move on with life. Okay, so so we're we're we got the next one I've here. Got mine. Uh, let me let me. Where the, how have I? He's lost it. This uh, guy before podcast. I was like, you have yours. Like they're ready. ready yeah. You have. 
And he's like, yeah, yeah, I got him here. First thing, as soon as I open my phone, boom. Dead. Just dead. Anyway. Anyways, okay, so. Hey guys, I started a new job about two months ago and last week I realized I wasn't getting paid for the OT I was doing. I tried to speak to my boss about it, but every time I mention it, he changed the subject. I don't know what to do. Fuck that. I would, I would walk. You'd walk? But what, okay. Like he obviously hasn't given us a lot of context here. Yeah, yeah. But what if he needs this job? Yeah, so, okay, it's different. If he need, like, if you need the job, obviously don't quit the job. Mm. And I would say prioritize getting this conversation out of him. Yeah. But if he's not giving you anything back and you're actually getting fuck, fucked over every week, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would find a job in the meantime to have it, then quit. You know and what I mean? Quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, fuck dealing with like money issues and stuff like that at yeah. jobs. Especially shit like that because I don't know how, I don't know obviously what the job is. Yeah. But if it's not a system where you clock in and it's all automated, like if yeah, it's not yeah, an electronic yeah. system and it's written mm. by the book type system, there's no way you can track that shit. Yeah, no. Because there's there's no way you can go back a month and a half ago to like the second week that you were working and say, yeah. oh, I did OT Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Yeah, Because like yeah, you, yeah. you can't prove that. No one's keeping the paper documents yeah. to prove it. So yeah, obviously we don't know how it works, but yeah, I'd say prioritize to have the conversation ASAP. Yeah. Look for another job in between. In the meantime, yeah. Unless you really like it. Like it depends what you're doing. No, nah, fuck that though. Like, well, what if men's is a tradie? Like what if Mans is a tradie and he's been doing, he, he, he gets paid for eight hour days yeah, and he's low key been working 10 hour days mm. and he, he needs this trade because he needs yeah, to, just, to earn a, to, yeah, earn a, to yeah. make a, make a living type thing. But there's always jobs available. You know what I mean? That's like it might be hard, but like bro, if like, let's say it's one or two weeks every now and then. Mm. And, and like, he misses he a few hours here or yeah, there, but like, he gives you a day off early yeah, the next yeah, day yeah. or some shit like if that. If there's like a bit of give and take, mm. you can just bite your teeth and get, get through it. You know just, what I mean? Just go on. Yeah. But if he's like putting in a shift every week and oh, like yeah, that, fuck, that, fuck that shift's not compensated. Yeah. Like working 10, 10 hours a day instead of eight yeah, and, yeah, getting, and, and missing us, out yeah. on a full 10 hours worth of work yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. I'd say fuck that. Oh. I'd say fuck that. I reckon you're entitled to what you work for. Fair enough. And honestly. like, I wouldn't cop shit like that, you know? Like yeah, yeah. if it were to happen, you'd obviously address it. Yeah. You wouldn't just walk out, but you'd address it. And if it's not getting addressed, then you just say fuck off kind well, of thing. I had a kind of similar situation yeah. way back when I used to work at a, a pizza place. Oh uh, yeah. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name, yeah, name it. Yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna name them. Um, but it was, it was, Kind of, there was there was a few people there that were cash in hand. There were a few mm. people that were on the books. So there was a few people in the middle, kind of both. Yeah. Um, and they were horrible with pay. Yeah. Like, and it was all like written pay type thing. Like you had to sign at the end of the week the hours you'd work. Yeah. Um, so it was kind of just like a, it got to the point where, I think me and a few others realized like, hey yo. We're not getting paid when we stay back past closing. Mm -hmm. We're like, it's it's getting a bit ish. Yeah. It's been going for a few months now. And we went to Fair Work. Yeah, Fair Work. The, yeah, the uh, whatever Fair Work is called. I think it's just yeah, called yeah. Fair Work. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, went there and then they contacted the boss and said, yo, you need to fix your shit. Otherwise yeah. we're coming down. The fuck you guys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that got their shit fixed ASAP. I can't yeah, lie. Yeah. Like they fixed up everyone's thing. Yeah. They're still cash in hand workers, yeah, but they yeah. were more delivery drivers and stuff, yeah, which is yeah, yeah. easier to get away with. Yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, if, if you have the conversation and he, he's still not trying to talk to you, but yeah. you really need the job, yeah, yeah. I'd say get in contact with them. For sure. And just try and go the legal way around it yeah, and yeah. just, and, and fuck him over with the, yeah. with the legal system if you have to. <laughs> It's a good time. It doesn't go time. wrong. Um, next yeah. one. Yep. So my best friend of 10 years has been acting different with me lately and spending less time with me. She eventually fessed up and told me that she's been seeing my brother. I don't want to tell her that I don't support their relationship, but I don't, but I know it's not going to work out. What do I do? Also big ups on the podcast. Oh, thanks guys. Um, <laughs> oh, brothers are a sticky situation. Uh, I would say... <laughs> Oh, you need to speak to your brother, first of all. Yeah. Because cause, cause if, if, they, if, if they're spending time together without the knowledge. That you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if they're trying to play sneakies. Yeah. It's a bit, how you doing? But if it's kind of all on the table, I guess it's one of those things you got to live with. Yeah, yeah, Like yeah. In, the, in the sense of like. Oh, I don't know, man. That's that's a sticky situation. I, I reckon, yeah. If it's if it's behind closed doors, what it seems to be, mm. they, well, the the brother might be honest about it, but definitely her friend hasn't told her shit. Yeah. 
if I'd feel like, yeah, definitely have a conversation with your bro because it's your bro. Yeah. About like, yo, what's going on? Da, 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 da. Yeah. And like, if there's something genuine there, you just have to allow it. Like, I don't know. It's just because, it, yeah, at the, like at the end of the day, you obviously don't want your brother like dicking your friends down and then just <laughs> dipping. Like, you don't want that. Like, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't want yeah, that no, to, because yeah, then that creates yeah. an awkward yeah, tension yeah, yeah, that's anytime they all yeah, link up. Yeah, like, you yeah. don't, you don't want a quick like pump and dump. You yeah, don't want that. Nah. So, so I think you got to get that on the table first. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it a yeah. pump and dump or is it a stick around and see how things Drag, go? Though. Like, you never I, know. Obviously, like, you're not going to use yeah, that bro, word. Bro, bro, are you pump and dump? Hey, yo, <laughs> bro, when was the last time you piped my friend? Like, yeah, no, that that that's not really the game plan. Yeah, but I would say, yeah, get it get a better understanding of what's actually happening. Yeah. There yeah. And whether or not things are how, ha- because you never know. Things might not even be happening. Like yeah, they may just yeah. be, they may just be friends. Yeah. They may just be talking. And they're just shy to yeah. entail their friends. But I have a funny feeling there would be something there. Yeah. That's like, why, why shy? It, yeah. You know? Why, why, yeah. Why hide it if it's just friends? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> but if you, if you just had don't support the relationship, unless because you think it's not, oh, cause yeah, you, you don't think it's going to work out. You never know though until it happens, you know? You, yeah, you could be, um, yeah, just be a bit more open to it, I guess. Like yeah. Maybe, maybe just see how it goes. You never know. Could yeah. Be, could be fun. Could Unless, be like, you know what you do? Unless there's a predicament where, like, you know either side's not serious. Yeah. Genuinely, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, one's yeah. fucking some other bitch down yeah, the road. Like, yeah. your brother's fucking if, some if other If you girl, know some shit's like or, that. Or, like, your friends, yeah, whatever. You, you gotta, got, like, you gotta let, you gotta let the party that's being lied to know. No, no, I see, I don't think you do it that way. You tell the person, because you know them both, around. to come straight. To either it's not, fix it. I don't it think it's your place to come in and go, yo, ex oh, this person. You're not wrong, honestly. I feel like you'd go to the person doing the thing and you'd be like, yo, brother, you got to straighten up. Mm, or sister, mm, whoever mm, it is, you got to mm, straighten up, tell mm, the other one what's mm, happening here. Mm, mm, and yeah, mm. but like, otherwise, if it's just like, they're both down with each other and stuff and it's like that, then it's fine. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know how old you all are, but yeah. I'm assuming you're all adults yeah. at this point. Like, I, I think we have a pretty adult, podcast yeah, in yeah. a sense where I don't think we've got eight year olds listening. No. So I would say at the end of the day, you're all adults. So play it by ear, have an honest conversation. Yeah. And if after the honest conversation, you've realized that there's differences in whether they both like each other at different levels yeah. or if the sister herself has actual issues with it Mm-mm. and she either feels like betrayed or something like that, yeah, like yeah. get to the bottom of it, dig deep, <laughs> It'll be a fucking rough conversation yeah. depending how ish it is, but like just just do it. Yeah. What's the what's the worst that can happen with that conversation? Yeah. Could be a fun time. Okay. So be calm. Be calm, just, human. Just be calm. It's not that deep. Unless it, it unless it's a situation unless, that's fucked unless up. Unless it is that deep, it's not that deep. deep. It, yeah. Yeah, it's not that deep. Okay. Next one here. Oh, okay. So, one one. Hey guys. I went on a first date last weekend and the guy was handsome as hell, but couldn't kiss to save his life. Do I try to find another man or do I try to teach this guy how to kiss properly? Please help. That's so rude. That's an ish. That's I can't so lie. Rude. Oh, bro. What bro, do you mean he can't kiss properly? Uh, men have been violated. No, yeah, I can't I was gonna lie. Say, they have been, I've, yeah. I've met some people who don't know how to kiss. Yeah, like, it's, it's like ish. It's like a, well, there's either like <laughs> mouth is too closed. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or like, ah, and they try and oh, bite your yeah, face off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that is an ish. Nah. I can't lie. That's an ish. That's an ish. That's an ish. And then like, there's also like the ish of like too much tongue, not enough tongue. Yeah, like, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. It's levels. Cause what would you, hey, side note, what would you write your kissing? If, it's hard cause you don't kiss yourself. I'm like, elite bro, I can't lie. Yeah. I reckon I'm elite. Yeah. I reckon I'm actually elite. Do you, do you, do you get like, uh, well, like I would honestly, stuff? I would, yes. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I, would, I would actually say that I'm, I'm top, top, top 15% of all humans alive. Best kiss off. Give, give, get a rating out of 10, 10. Get or five, ten. five. Yeah, rating out of five. five. I'm gonna say a solid four. I would actually. Oh, oh God. No. Nah. I wouldn't say I'm a solid five. Wait, okay, let's do Only 10. Let's do, let's do 10. Out of 10. Because it makes the scale a bit different. Because I wouldn't do three, but I wouldn't do five. But the way you're speaking about you having a four, you're making me feel like I'm a. Because like, I feel like I'm, I'm dangerous as well, but you're like. I'm dangerous. I know, saying, I know for saying, a fact. I got, I, got, I got history records. Yeah, to prove you have it. a much I got bigger, a driving record yeah, that yeah, I can pull up and, yeah, it's, and yeah, life's good. Yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say. Out of 10. Out of 10, I'm going to put myself at a solid like eight and a half. Yeah, I okay. can't lie. Yeah, I'll say eight, I'll say eight for me then. Because I don't know, man. Like, it's just haps. I've never like, look at it this way. I've never gotten a bad comment. Yeah, what's well, and yeah. I've received a few decent comments. Yeah, yeah. So, just going off that. But do you think anyone will ever tell you you're a bad kisser? Yes. You reckon? I've told people they're bad kissers. Just like that? Yes. Woo. No, Hillside Friday used to go dumb. I can't. And lie. You, well, you go like. Pff. 
It's a bit on their No, you literally yeah, just yeah, no because right. okay, you don't say it with your words, but you say it with your eyes. You uh, look at them, you're like, uh, uh, and yeah, then you're like, I got, funky, and, yeah. you, and then you're like, oh, I gotta go get a drink, and yeah. then you push, you're out of there, you're yeah, gone, yeah, skis, yeah, you're, you're you. not around anymore. I thought you literally turned to this like lady and you're like, hey brother, like, done, too much hey, tongue, bro. Yeah, you're this, fucked up. My you mouth put, is like, too and wet. Paper, it's like, not nice. Yo, write these notes. That's for you. It's for you. Is your homework for the weekend? I'll come back next Friday. I'll see you. Oh shit, man. But um. Oh yeah. So if, if this dude's a shit kisser, do I leave him or do I stick around? It depends. Like if you, okay, let's say she actually has an emotional attachment to him. Don't fucking leave him. Like, well, okay. I think they did say first date, first oh, date last first weekend. Date. So, oh, so yeah. I think she's met up for like a Tinder thing. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or maybe she's been talking to a guy on Instagram for like a few days yeah. and kind of, kind of no. decided to link. I'm not gonna lie. If I was in this situation, Unless like on that first date, you learned a lot about the personality and you got into the personality. Mm. Let's say first date, you've never even interacted. You said the first thing you said, hey, let's go on a date. Boom, you're on a date now. So you don't yeah. know anything about them. So mm. unless that was a banging first date in regards to like getting to know them, mm. if it was just a bog average date, then you kissed like that, dead it, fuck that yeah, one. Honestly, he's not worth dead it. Dead it bad. I yeah, like it's- Cause they've probably built up a thing in their head of like looking at the profile and yeah, being like, oh, yeah. this is gonna be such a good date. Like, cause they, they, they did mention he was handsome. Yeah, so they're yeah, probably yeah. hyping it up like, oh, this, he's gonna take me out. Yeah, he's gonna treat me nice. He's gonna do all this, but all if that, it's all that. a bog average date- But if it's just- Shit kiss, fuck it, him, get rid of like him, bro. Like Nando's or some yeah, shit yeah. With, the, with the gang. Like, and he's giving bro. you fucking And he's giving you just, yeah, like a sloppy kiss. Yeah, good one. What are you gonna force it out for? Like, imagine she goes the other route and she tries to like teach well, him. Yeah, like, imagine. Like, why? Like, why I go can't through that effort it? unless it's worth? Because obviously, yeah. they have a great personality and yeah. all that. You know what I mean? Mm, 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 unless you're just, uh, I'm not like this, but unless you can go off physical a lot more mm, and mm, you can mm, just mm. deal with the shit personality, you can just deal with it. But I don't think anyone can deal with it for. You'd be surprised as long as, as long as they can. Oh yeah, no, not as long as they can. But you'd be surprised how long people can put up with that oh, just for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know for sure. Mm. One story, I won't get into it. Oh no. But you know it as well. Oh, no. wait, do I? The, the girl that came back to the house like two years ago. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about, right? I think. We mean, after that party, you fucking dragged her. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I should finish that sentence. Uh, yeah. He didn't drag her. Sorry. I didn't drag her. Um, she no. came to it like in an Uber. He brought her into an Uber with us. Yep. Sorry, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> that could have fucked Yeah, me. that could have been ish. Yeah, I can't yeah. like cancel culture, yeah, cancel yeah. culture, cancel um, culture. Anyway, yeah, so. Yeah. Um, she came over. Girl over. brought back. She yep. was pretty, mm -hmm. but she had dumb brains and like that. I was like, hey, free my guy. Get, get out of my house. Free my guy. Fuck off. I don't want anything to do with you. I don't, and I can't sexually get turned on a bit. Sorry, family, if you're watching this, but I, I can't like it. Personality you need a, who you, you need are a bit of is a lot spark. more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, spark need, you need and, something yeah, yeah, to yeah, get yeah. it going. Cause yeah, I can't just look at you, say you're pretty and then- And then just be happy. Do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's no. Just, it's, it's dead happy. Yeah, like for me anyway, I know some people, like I'm saying, can literally look and go, bang, I'm good to go, you know? But like, I, I was can't. built like that for a long time. I can't lie. Yeah, you were. You were she, was a, she was a pretty girl. I'd, I'm happy. Well, see, I'm the thing is, it doesn't have to be like a 10 day emotional care. If I see you and we have like an initial like, why are you clicking? Sorry. If we have like an initial- um like spa, spark, yeah. then that can be enough. Cause it's something, you know, it's, it's, it's actually emotional. Off. It's something mm, mm, more mm. than just looks. But mm, like, mm. if I look at you and the first interaction is shit. Yeah. Dead it. Like, yeah, I don't even want to waste my time with you. Fuck off. Yeah. I'm actually a big believer in not love at first sight, but you know, if you like someone yeah, 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 when yeah, yeah. you first interact with yeah, them. Exactly. Like yeah, exactly. Cause unless, unless they go through a change or you go through a change, you're both still the same people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fucking 20 times after you've met later. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. think anything's gonna change. No. And like, yeah, unless you guys become really, really, really close friends. And then from that, something happens. Mm, like it's, mm, it's a mm. bit of a different story. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a big fan of, if I think you're attractive, I think you're attractive the first time I meet you. Yeah, and that opinion 100%. doesn't change. Yeah, the only reason it, it doesn't change, change is from what you said. Yeah, if they if they physically, ch or if they, no, they physically- become friend. No, you oh, become friends. Oh, the oh, thing you you're saying, friends. we become friends and then it, Somehow and then over grows time, to something like it that. Builds up because that happened to me as well once. There mm, was this girl. Mm, mm. Um, you know her as well. Yep. Yep. Um, yep. Strictly just friends. Nothing strictly. more than that. Didn't. I, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think she was ugly, but I didn't think she was attractive. Yeah. It was o just uh, over a year or so. Yeah. We became really good friends, mm, mm, mm. and then like she became super pretty, yeah. super attractive. Oof. Me, it was crazy. And I remember like I had this conversation yesterday at work. Actually, like I thought about it. Like it's crazy. Like how can you look at someone? And this is back then I'm questioning myself to this, but now yeah. it makes more sense to me. But back then 17, 18, I was like, how can I look at someone that I didn't have any physical attraction to? And, and now suddenly, it's changed, but they yeah. haven't, their look hasn't changed. Like nothing's changed about them. Yeah. They still wear the same yeah. clothes. And I was like, damn, personality is, and I knew that at the time, but personality is just too elite. You know what a, I mean? It's elite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 
For yeah. me anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say, I would say 100%. So. Sorry, back to your issue Yeah, though. back to, oh wait, yeah, this girl. <laughs> so she's this kissed some dude. Um, does she fuck him off, stick with him? Does she try and I think we him? sort of answered it there. I said, unless he's got something around. Yeah, unless he's got something that really grabs your attention, yeah. whether it's like what he enjoys doing on his days off or whether it's yeah, his yeah. actual job or whatever the fuck it is that yeah. really interests you. Um, move on. Yeah. I'd say save you both the trouble. Yeah. Cause, cause Mendham has probably gone home and thought, yeah, I, I got a Killed kiss. It. I got yeah. a kiss. Life's good. Second date planning. Yeah. It's ready to go. So, so man's is probably out here planning a, a future with you. Yeah. And um, <laughs> if, if you're, if you're, if you're thinking this, you might, you might probably just save him the pain. Yeah. Leave him. For sure. Leave him to find another girl to sloppy kiss. Yeah. He'll, 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 he'll get better. Yeah, he'll move on. Yeah, he'll, 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 he'll it's get one better. day, come on. Hey, you never know. One girl's trash is another girl's treasure. Maybe maybe another girl will lack a sloppy kiss. Oh, well, maybe. She, she never, okay, that. she never technically said sloppy. Yeah. I'm just assuming sloppy. Yeah, sloppy. Because like the worst kisses I've always I've ever had have always been sloppy kisses. I can't lie. I don't know how, but there's some girls out there that just produce saliva. Yeah, like that, on that's a, a mish. I don't know a, if I've had on that. On a crazy level. Like I haven't been life. like, because I've been in a relationship for two years. Mm, mm, mm. Haven't seen a while. Mm. You Cheers. haven't been out. Been but out like, I yeah. haven't, like thinking back to those, prior to those days, yeah. I haven't really had a saliva thing. I think shoot. it's more of like a, when you're drinking at a club uh, and everyone's really drunk and you're just sloppy mm, in that mm. sense. I think that is kind of what leads yeah, up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just like, yeah, like, yeah. When you're just on a dance floor, yeah, when you're just yeah. on a dance floor, it's dancing, jumping, there's a bunch of people around, you get knocked sweat, around and drinks, shit. It's just yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's not yeah, a good yeah. concoction yeah, for yeah. a nice first kiss. Yeah, I'll be yeah, honest, yeah, it, yeah. it really isn't. No, I get you for sure. But yeah, I've, I've had some, I've had some mares. I can't yeah. lie. It's been, a, it's been a bad time. <laughs> well, you, you live and you learn, you know. Badly, badly. Okay. Anyway, we'll end it there, guys. Um, thank you for listening, viewing, watching. However, you're seeing or contracting taking in this podcast i don't know in, what listening viewing yeah. all the works all but, the um, above yeah um thank you very much yeah thank you chuck a like yeah. um subscribe yeah. if you haven't do all the things um but yeah that'll be that i hope you guys have a great week um a great yeah just a great enjoy week, the episode so it's the middle of january yeah i hope you guys have got some big big things planned yeah coming up it should be a good time i can't lie sweet and um that'll be all thank you very Thanks much guys. peace Thanks. laters